Hi, I am Graham Thomas. I am our Chief Community and Government Affairs Officer here at Tennessee Chiefs. We're so excited that you're joining us as a mentor to work with the class of 2023. Um, I just want to take a few minutes and kind of give you some tips and advice as you start to meet with your students here over the course of the next um, two months. So uh, I'm going to tell you quickly um, a little logistical piece. So when you arrive to the high school, you are going to sign in with our staff. You're going to be assigned a table number. You will then go to that table and your students will have the same table number. So you don't have to search for them. You don't have to try to find them. You will all be directed to the same place. You've gotten a lot of reminders from us or you will as your meeting approaches. So read those emails. There are thorough directions in there. Everything from parking to the check-in process, um, exactly what to expect when you get to the high school from a logistic point. But what I really wanna to talk to you about today is how to connect with your students at these meetings. Um, I think that the first few years of the program specifically, we did a really bad job about uh, making mentors feel like they were boxed in to only talk about the student's education. Um, I think what you find sometimes is if you come in and you kind of interview them about their education plans, they'll get a little nervous, they'll get a little shy, they might shut down a little bit. So. Please know that you can talk to them about other things, whatever it is that will get them talking. If you have a hobby, share your hobby with them. Uh, we had a mentor a few years ago. He told this story about going into the high school and he sat down with his group of students and he was trying to connect with them and they, they weren't really talking a whole lot. And so he started to talk to them a little bit about a soccer game that he had watched the night before. And one of the other students in the group had watched the soccer game. And then he found out that two of the students in his group were on the basketball team at the high school. And so he talked about how they had like a really fun conversation about sports that then led to a really meaningful conversation about his group of students college plan. So, you know, don't feel like you are totally boxed into only education here, right? You're getting to know them. Um, this is an opportunity to build that relationship. And so if it is a hobby, a movie, a TV show, whatever it is that helps you to connect with the students, that's okay to talk about those things. In that same vein, I think what I would really encourage you to do at the first meeting is come prepared to share a little bit about yourself. Um, I was talking with a mentor just this week, and you know what I told him is that I think that our students think that you as the mentor woke up this morning successful, right? That you didn't go to college and work hard, that you, depending on where you are in your career, you've maybe changed jobs and companies or organizations five, six, 10 times that you're on your 12th job inside the same organization. And so share that journey with them. Um, I think what we have learned over the last 15 years is that if you will come prepared to talk a little bit about yourself, that the students will then really reciprocate. Um, but again, if you kind of come in with that like interview mindset and you just kind of start to fire questions away or drill them with questions, um, that doesn't always create an environment for our students um, that makes them feel really comfortable. So if you come first um, and share a little bit of vulnerability with the students, they will then tend to reciprocate that. So. I wanted to keep this video today really short, really simple, but just give you the advice and some best practices that we have learned over the last decade and a half. Find whatever it is that helps to connect you with your students, whether that is education or soccer, basketball or gardening, whatever that might be. TV shows and movies I think are pretty huge with our students right now. Um, find that connection point and then come ready to share um, and be a little bit vulnerable. I mean, you don't have to you know, dive real deep here, but um, share your story, share your educational journey, your career journey, um, and let students know how it is that you got to where you are today. Finally, know that every, at, uh, every one of these meetings, there will be two Tennessee Achieve staff members there to support you and help you. So we will have a person that will stand up and lead the meeting. We will have during the mentor breakout sessions, two people on our team will be walking around the room to answer questions and know that you will be fully supported at these meetings. Uh, we are so, so excited to get back into the high schools. It's been a few years for us, 
Um, this is how we used to operate pre-pandemic, and we're excited that we are back in the high schools. We have about 7,000 less students a year going to college in Tennessee than we had pre-pandemic. This is our opportunity and your opportunity to get in front of a group of students and get them excited about going to college to reverse these negative enrollment trends. And remember, you've got a group of students, but it only takes one. If you can connect with one student over the next couple of months and get that student excited about going to college, then you have changed that student's life forever. And what the data shows is you have changed that student's family's life for generations to come. So this is a really exciting time at Tennessee Achieves. We are so excited to get on the road and we will see you all soon.